So we'll start now, and the first question is, so what did you notice before vision therapy? What brought you in with Jack and then the other boys? Okay. I, um, I started with my first son, Jack, but I since brought um, my twin boys, Joe and Luke. And Jack was my firstborn, and when he was in first grade, um, we started to notice that he had a lot of trouble in school. And he, um, he had a hard time focusing. He had a hard time following directions. And um, it transcended into his academics and his behavior in the classroom. And he started to really struggle with, um, with school. And he hated school. He hated the homework. And it was a, a battle with me after school to try to get him to do the homework. And it would take forever. And it would often end in tears. And um, he was in first grade. And I thought, we have a whole lifetime ahead of us of learning. And if we can't read or have a good, happy perspective about learning, then we're setting up for failure. And um, I was scared to death. We did all kinds of things. We did um, occupational therapy. We did visual therapy. We did speech therapy. I even took my son to a um, natural doctor to get him on the right vitamins and supplements and make sure there was no allergies. And it turned out he did have a sensitivity to, to, to dairy. So uh, we were trying everything we could think of. I almost went to a chiropractor. <laughs> you know, if anybody mentioned anything, we would go. And um, finally, somebody mentioned the red apple. And uh, it was, I, at that point, I was uh, just fit to be tied. I was at my last string. I was, uh, we would have done anything, and we were just checking everything off the list. And I remember meeting with Dr. Falbo for the evaluation. And I just broke down into, into tears because I, I was uh, so beside myself with what, what it could be, what I could do as a mom, and what teachers could do as, as teachers to help him succeed in school. And um, the example that I, that I remember to this day, and it, seemed, it was just so baffling to me as a parent, we were reading this recommended book for his level and every page had the word said s-a-i-d and it was sam said and then dan said and then after about halfway through the book he got to the word said and he had it was like he never saw the word before and i just tried i almost wanted to have a tantrum as a parent like pulling my hair out what is wrong? There was some blockage, and I just couldn't figure. It was a mystery. And um, I actually lost my temper, and I said, look, you read said, 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 said. This word is said. And he, I, I, I feel terrible, because that's not the way you're supposed to encourage and, and, and help a child. But um, I was... I was just beside myself totally. So when I came in here and I told Dr. Falbo, I broke down in tears because I didn't know what this was the last hope. We had spent all kinds of money and all kinds of time before this, and this was our last resort. And I was crying because in the entryway, um, the waiting room, there, it was covered. All the walls were covered with red apple letters of thank you for the success that their son or daughter had had or from the students themselves. And so many stories I could relate to with, um, with the struggle of, of learning. And, and reading transcends to everything in life. I mean, even if he wasn't going to be a college-bound student, he had to know how to read, he just to order from a menu. And I was just thinking, we're in trouble here. So um, finally, um, we did end up coming to Red Apple twice a week for, I think it was maybe nine months. And um, that was when he was in first grade. And um, he started to gain confidence, and he started to progress. And um, it was interesting things. It was exercises and, and um, interesting things I never would have thought of that we had to do, like to read close up and then to read far away, and then close up and far away. And it was fun things, like um, just with the beads. And um, 
I never would have thought of that, and none of the tutors would think of that. We went to summer camps at Duquesne downtown, and um, it was, I knew it was something different, and it was something we hadn't tried before, and, um, and it worked. So we were very thankful. Now my son is in fourth grade, and he reads at a sixth grade level. And he loves to read. He, he loves to go to Barnes & Noble or the library or a used book sale. And he treasures books like my husband and I do as um, a, a favorite pastime. He reads every, every night. And he reads Star Wars books and 39 Clues books and mysteries and um, adventure. And he loves it. So we couldn't be happier. And um, he's a straight A student and I always knew he was smart but there was some kind of a block and now the block is clear and um, he's doing well in all kinds of things now so we couldn't be more thankful. That's awesome. Yeah. That's like way awesome. Oh good. Well that's the way we feel. Is that's there, the, yeah. Yeah, I'll stop for a second. 